Hi beauties and girls, it's Melissa. Welcome back. Today's video is going to be a face full of impressions and also hair items. One of you guys gave me this idea of doing first impressions and then coming back and doing an update whether I love it or not. And I really like that because a lot of times I take a long time to come back to you all because I want to do a really good review and try it with new and old and different primers and when it comes to foundations and hair products I want to use one at a time then all together so sometimes it can be kind of long and you guys really want to know so I thought about giving first impressions and then coming back and giving a formal review of each item hope you guys enjoy that let me know what you think about that but let's get straight into this video because I have a lot this whole face was new stuff so yeah so I have some ColourPop ColourPop sent me some items and I unboxed it on snapchat if you're not following me on snapchat you definitely should because PR unboxings and stuff like that I usually do on snapchat so I got the Amanda Steele weekend warrior collab so I have all the items here and I'll post a picture on Instagram if you want to check out and see everything. But I'm going to use this eyeshadow palette, which has, I actually, um, I'm giving one of these away in the huge swag bag. So you'll see this in action. I'll make sure I link that down below if you want to enter. But this is Throttle, Throttle, Harley, Burnout, and Chopper. So we're going to use that. I'm probably going to use some other shadows in conjunction with that. The, and I've never tried the press shadows, by the way. They do have some, uh, they do have some of the Super Shock shadows in here, which are pretty cool. And I'm wearing dark colors, so that would be cool. And then I am, they have the liquid lipstick, a lipstick, and a lip gloss, liquid lipstick, a satin lipstick lip cream or ultra satin lip and the lip gloss so I'll see out of those which one I want to try first thing I'm going to put on my face is a moisturizer this is in different by Derma E this was in a haul that I did and this is the anti wrinkle vitamin a retinal palmate cream I tried this last night because I wanted to do one at night and then it says you can use it in the morning but I with this I need to use a um, sunscreen so I'm actually going to going to mix it with my Josie Marin is SPF 47 because when it comes to retinol you retinol you definitely want to use a sunscreen okay so while I'm working that in let me tell you about my hair I used three products that I had from that haul and sometimes I use new stuff together sometimes I will use it apart but one one product I used already and it's this um, L'Oreal Ever Curl I really do like this uh, when I put it in my hair and started washing my hair I was like oh this is why I really like this product I never did do a review I don't think on this but I definitely did use it all up it's non-drying anti-frizz it says and it has natural botanicals it's a cleansing conditioner and it's sulfate free so I really did like this it's low foam and it really got my hair cleansed without stripping I think I like the six in one a bit better um but I like them for different reasons this one both of them are very moisturizing I felt like that the other one was easier to detangle with but this really I feel like is a gentle cleanser uh, if you especially if you're high porosity I feel like that those two from the drugstore are really really good this I'll actually use this is the L'Oreal hydro this is for normal the dry skin somebody was telling it's a daily moisturizer but somebody was telling me you can't use it by itself and I kind of believe them because of I like thick creams and this is like a gel a hydrating gel but it says it's supposed to give you it's an illuminating one so maybe I can use it for my primer today it smells good and it's like gliding over my face so I like that it's pretty it's kind of tacky too which makes me believe that this might be a good moisturizer slash primer when I'm like in a rush like I am right now. now I have a different one on the photo focus but let's use it today I have a face full of impressions today 
I usually would color correct. I think I still am. I usually don't skip that step. But I definitely like this spatula. I'm gonna use the LA Girl. I haven't used this in a while just because I was turned off because liquid, like water was coming out. You don't need a lot of this because usually we go for peach. This is from B Bella. I was at an event and got this sponge and I have not put it down. Like I have not picked up my beauty blender in such a long time. It, it like just blends out stuff so beautifully. So what I do is I just use the foundation and it cancels out some of the orange and then I'll go on with my concealer to cover up the rest. But like I feel like it gives that fresh clean face. I think I like that L'Oreal, like in terms of like a first impression, y'all know. One of my YouTube buddies here, you know who you are. Um, she follows me on Twitter, follows me on uh, Instagram, follows me on YouTube. She's such a sweetheart. And I see her even responding on other people's channels. Um, she gave me... We were talking about this and she, well she gave me the idea she was like won't you do first impressions because this is the thing i feel like first impressions are sometimes I, I change my mind about products meaning that i could really like it and then i don't end up liking it or i cannot like a product and then end up liking it so she was like won't you do first impressions and then come if anything has changed do an update and i thought that was a great idea because sometimes me i will wait and people really want to know what I think about a product, but I'm like, no, I want to wait and use it a couple of times because I like to use it with new stuff. I like to use it with things I already have a couple of times just to get a good review. You know, I don't like giving those like reviews. Oh my God, I just absolutely love it. I don't like giving those type of reviews. This is the, oh, and I got the powder, y'all. I got the powder in my color and then I also have the color to set my under eye so this is natural buff and this is what I'm using I kid you not y'all this reminds me so much of the MAC mineralized skin finish it is crazy like crazy and I'm loving it I'm loving it so I'm gonna use this to set my under eye I am so excited about that powder and this is what I'm gonna use to set my face and this is in golden tan um I felt like the drugstore really didn't have good powders for a while and I feel like now they're coming out with really good powders I want to try the one Tati talks about the covergirl one and I'm like oh I want to try that one um I feel like that they've okay the drugstore has mastered really good really good um foundations They've mastered pretty good, like, I feel like good concealers. We'll say good concealers. I feel like great foundations, good concealers. Some people would say great concealers. Um, mm, I still would go for a high-end uh, concealer. Even if I have, like, a concealer from drugstore, a lot of times I end up mixing it just because you need that coverage. And you need like this is giving me full coverage now this is a good concealer so let me go in um I really like this concealer like oh, this concealer is so good so I'm gonna get I rather get three shades of this a face powder and under eye setting powder and then a bronzer then to get one product and the side of the other side I'm not going to use I'd rather get three and wet and wild is so inexpensive where you don't really have to worry about that anyway I mean this powder is so good 
Oh my goodness, like. So good. Okay, I used the L'Oreal Micellar Water this morning and so far I like it. To me, it's closer to the Bioderma than the Garnier and the Garnier was very close, but that almost feels alike. I need to check those ingredients. It like made me feel like the Bioderma for real. So thumbs up on the L'Oreal. The Garnier is still, I think they might be the, around the same price now. Okay, so. Oh my goodness, I love that powder. Oh God. Go get this powder. And the concealer. And the foundation. Yes on these. This is the LA Girl. This is the Pro Primer. I love this. Okay, so I'm gonna go into this. I'm gonna go into Chopper, which is this. I'm gonna set my lid with that. So I'm just gonna use my large this is a large flat when I want to cover a lot of space at one time. I like how that looks. It's like very, this must be, I wonder if this is a satin finish. I'm going to go into is this color which is burnout in my crease yes. and I'm gonna pick up this color I probably should use like a more lighter color but we're just gonna do it light and gonna concentrate it here and then go in now I'm gonna take a little bit of a this is a fluffy brush that has a point though I'm gonna go back into that color and concentrate a little bit more and it's just putting it straight into the crease you can notice so let me talk about another product that's in my hair is the what is this the Shea Moisture Fruit Fusion Coconut Water Weightless this is a rinse, but I left it in my hair. I like this a lot. Like it's super, super lightweight, but super duper like moisturizing. That's first impressions though, y'all. I really do like this product. It says it has MB oil, coconut water, and fruit. Fusion, which is fresh dragon fruit, lychee berry, green apple extracts, infused with coconut water, and it boosts life less hair. So, gives like a little snap to your hair. Okay, I'm loving this blend. Okay. Next thing we're gonna do is go into, I wanna say, I'm gonna use this. I'm not gonna, I don't think I'm gonna use the tail, but I'm gonna use this. Maybe I'll use that on my lower lash line, but I wanna use this color and it's throttle. So I'm actually going to put it on this point tip. This is an old Mary Kay brush that I have and I really like it because one side is flat, the other side has that point. And I like it because I can get a little bit more precise. I just want to concentrate that right there. I feel like a hair somewhere and I can't find it. A deep grayish purple. I always put more on the side. But it's that chopper, which is that light color, and put it right there and drag it down. I'm gonna go back into Chopper with this brush and clean up and put it right there. I kinda wanna open the eye. This is like, oh 
Let's try the So Lashy by CoverGirl. I have one more hair product that I want to talk to y'all about and I'll discuss that at the end. So it has that like, let's see how this works. Okay, I like the ball part at the end. I don't know about this like flat part. I love the Super Sizer Fiber. I feel like the end is really getting the lash, but the part that I want the lash to get is like so flat and it's making it so messy. I like kind of don't know what part it's getting. try okay I don't think I like this for my bottom lashes let's see this formula is still kind of too wet like I'm having to like douse this but that's the thing I love about this powder is that it feels like even though y'all see how much I've used it feels like nothing is on my face Okay, let's go in with a little blush. I'm gonna use the OG Luminoso. I don't think I have a blush to try today. I used to use the Ultra Satin. Yeah. This is in the shade Jiffy. Oh, I like that a lot. Okay, I like Jiffy. Jiffy is a winner. Okay, so this is the pretty much the finished look. I'm not gonna do too much of anything else. Probably set my brows, but y'all don't need to see that. But let me just talk about this hair. I was really impressed by all the products that I used. Let me show you the gel and then we will be a done. I was really impressed by this $2 L'Oreal Everstyle Alcohol-Free Curl Defining Gel. It is a vegan. Yes, it's L'Oreal, but it's vegan. It's formulated, it's formula was not tested on animals or no animal, it has no animal byproducts. So this is vegan, it's alcohol free. 24 hour control botanical extract, paraben free and 100% vegan. I'm really excited about this. I wanna pick up some more, just gonna say. Um, I feel like it gave me a right, nice curl. This is like first day hair. Y'all know I do not like first day hair, so it'll be better, but this is first impression. So I gotta tell y'all, I'll probably pick, pick it out a little bit more but that is it, you guys. This is the Amanda Steel. I love it. I pretty much liked a lot, most of the stuff. Even the So Lashy, I feel like I can make work. I really do like it. I do need to click off this part. I love the eyeshadows. Like, very blendable from ColourPop. That was my first time using the pressed shadows. I already love the blush. The photo focus is blowing me away, okay, from Wet n Wild. Um, oh, in terms of hair products, y'all know I already like the Eva Curl, the L'Oreal. I'm so glad that I have some L'Oreal products that I, I love. Um, the rinse, I really do like. I'm going to try it as a co-wash as well, but I do like it as a leave-in so far. Uh, and that gel, I really did like. It gives a soft hold and is not crunchy. It's a snotty, like loose gel. That's the other thing I liked. Usually I like lightweight. That's why I have a lot of volume. And if I have a lot of volume today and it's not flat, um, that means that as the days progress, it'll just get bigger and bigger. And that is what I want. So yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this face full of first impressions. Uh, that was a tongue twister. Please subscribe. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you want me to do more of these where I do like hair, trying new hair stuff, and doing like makeup and giving y'all all the nine, the full. Let me know if you want to see more of these. Give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more where I talk about my, you know, products that I have in my hair. I did do this last night on Instagram live I can do like the actual application because I can't do it like 
at the same time and let y'all know and let y'all see like the dry results the results you know so uh yeah um let me know if you guys like this type of video where i do from like head face everything hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up please subscribe if you hadn't already and i'll see you in the next video bye loves